holy cow, you guys, it's great to be back. I don't even know if you want to call it back, but just, yeah, I don't know, we're not back. There's no I don't knows, because we know what we're talking about. We know what we're going to do here, and I've come today to talk about um, a revelation that I have, not that I, yeah, that I had. You know, every once in a while, it's not that you have, like, a revelation, but you kind of have a, you call it a reflection or a, um, like, not really a setback, but just like a looking back on what you've, on your progress to your deprogress. Like, you know, you're always, you're trying to always move forward in a direction, and then you find yourself uh, going backwards in a way. And what I mean by backwards is, is simply this. Recently, we'll go in the term of, I'd say one to two months, um, over the summer I found that, what, this over the summer would be, what, probably like, six months to eight months from now so about that long over the summer i found but wasn't like a hundred percent on discovering like i'd say not entirely who i was but more or less the person i set out to be and that just kind of how i um made other people feel and why it was you know why it made them feel that way and that thing in particular was my always having a positive uh attitude and always being happy cheerful you know, all that kind of stuff, regardless of the circumstances around you, not letting outside forces uh, get get to me inside. Now, I never really put much thought into all the progress I made prior to what I'm doing now and my going into my career field and what I want to do with my life. Uh, we'll save that for another time. But basically, I wanted to be a development per person or coach, you know, someone I can name the models of the people that I'm modeling, who I'm modeling off what I want to become off of, but I'm not going to go there now. Simply saying is that my career and my, uh, what I want to do with my life is to help other people uh, find and achieve who they want to be. You know, I'm a coach kind of thing, not a motivator, but someone who has, you know, this is the way things, you know, kind of work and this is how you go about doing it. So, I started reading books and listening to tapes of people that are doing that and have done it, you know, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, I kind of put a stop to what I was always doing and what I was already good at with quotes there and what made other people happy, right? And I shifted away from that. Um, I'd say subconsciously I shifted away from it. Like, I did it unknowingly. Like, I never really thought about it. And sat back for a second and thought of who the person that I was already or that I've already developed prior to my other success and to my the rest of my previous story to the person I have become, right? If that makes sense. So like let's let's rewind here. Um so to the to, to summer, to that point I had become a person um in regards to the things that have already happened to me in life, the setbacks I've already faced or I've circumstances I've fallen uh, at fault to. And I've already become a certain person. So the person I have, I had become, I never really analyzed that person and put thought into it until just recently. When I looked at the person that I was and said, now I've kind of faded away from that person. I haven't like become something completely new, but I've just kind of stopped being anything, you know. I've just kind of dolled out. I got no juice. I'm not, I'm not going strong anymore. I'm not motivated, you could say, or I'm not pushing towards a, a specific thing or goal or something, you know what I mean, I'm just not, I'm not, I, the easiest way I can say it is motivated, I'm not going, I'm not moving, I'm not jumping up and down, I'm not going crazy, I'm just staying where I am, so I had a revelation, I said, the thing, the reason why people, the people that I have in my life are, not, are attracted to me and are in my life is because of the juice I had, is because of how happy and motivated I was, how I never let other people or, other, or outside circumstances get to me, and all these books and everything, all these people, they tell you that that's what you got to do. But I never thought about the fact that I already did that, that I was one of the people that subconsciously already was kind of doing that. Like, I've kind of learned that on my own. And while reading it, I'm kind of rediscovering these things, and the, the principles are kind of pounding back into your head, and you've got new ideas, new philosophies coming in, uh, new ways that you think about living and looking at things, and all that kind of stuff. But I had a revelation, and I said to myself, I'm going to change this. I'm going to start being happy. I'm going to have the enthusiasm. Every day is great. There's never a bad day. There's always a great day. Um, you found the word. I found my word that I'm going to use. Uh, when people ask me how I'm doing, super spectacular. That That's my own word. You can't use it. That's patented. That's got my name on it. You ask me how I'm doing, I'm going to tell you. That's how I'm doing. It's great. You've got a smile. Um, the first book I actually read was How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. And 
the thing that I took that I remember most significantly about that book without looking back to the notes I took or reflecting specifically on that book was that book taught me why I should smile. Um, you know, people always told me to smile. I've always smiled. But for some reason with my life and the way I look at things, I, I always search for a why kind of, you know, like why should I do this? Why shouldn't I do this? I let uh, the universe or God play me a bad example of something before I maybe act in the right manner towards something. It's just a weird kind of thing that I do that I wish that sometimes I wish I didn't do, but if I didn't do it, then I wouldn't be me and that kind of thing. But we'll go into what I want to do for my future, um, in the future, soon, and it'll be a whole new thing. It's going to be very interesting and fun. Um, it's going to be a learning experience. Doing talking right now like this, I, I've kind of stumped myself on how I'm even going to do what I want to do. Because I'm sitting here and I'm trying to put my thoughts into words and it's not going too good. So I think we might have to type out scripts and stuff, you know. But So I had a reflection. I decided that I'm going to be a positive person. I'm going to be motivated again. I'm going to be going. I'm going to strive to do what I want to do. You know, I'm going to read the, the books. I'm going to take the notes. I'm going to try to think these things out and put them into words and into things that make sense. And I'm going to do what I do best. And I'm going to pursue myself and pursue my passion. I'm going to be the best at everything that I that I do like I was. Um, you know, I have to be a team player. I have to listen well again. I have to not complain or be negative or uh, blame people. Only blame yourself. Look forward and not backwards. Just things that I was already kind of doing. Just keep doing them and do them again, you know, do them better, in a sense. But uh, that's my recent revelation. That's my recent progress that I've made. And uh, thank you for listening. Hopefully we'll maybe get back into this stuff. You know, I'm not a big gamer anymore, but I'm learning. I said that this to myself. I said, you got time for, you know, work and achievement. You also got to have time for you and enjoyment. And, you know, video games and that, you still love it. So, you know, find ways to channel what you're going to do. And that's that's one of them, I think. So thank you guys for listening. Um, always take time to reflect and look back, have that revelation. It'll dawn on you, and then you got to go out there and you actually got to do it. Um, uh, crazy quote here, success is in the doing. You actually have to do it, all right? Action is key. You have to do it. Um, you can't just sit on it. In the past couple days since I had this, I've changed it, and i got to keep going in that direction, and I plan on it. So thanks, guys, for listening, and I'll talk to you later.